Okay, today I am going to talk about um, aquarium ferti fertilization uh, and the method that I am using. So, I'm using so called estimated index uh, method, uh, which means that I am adding like a dry uh, fertilization. Like I am adding there four different uh, powders. Uh, first is this uh, potassium nitrate. Then there is this uh, monopotassium phosphate, and then there is this uh, mixture of trace elements, and then there is uh, magnesium sulfate, and. Uh, I am making uh, like uh, making this uh, measurements with this uh, small uh, small uh, like scale, and uh, so I have like five day schedule. I have these are for macro fertilization and these are for micro like these trace elements. So first I'm doing like this. I am measuring first 7.5 grams of potassium nitrate or actually I am starting with this magnesium sulfate, I am adding that just roughly one tablespoon for each. So this is the first one. Because that is not that critical. This is not like it is... I, I, I don't know, it is not critical. But this is critical, this uh, nitrate. This is potassium nitrate and 7.5 grams. That for my aquarium. Of course, there are. Okay. 7.5. Actually, there are these uh, ca calculators how much each uh, stuff you need. Uh, but. I am using half dosing. It seems to be enough. So first 7.5 approximately to each of these. Okay, it's close enough. And the last one. Just a little, little more. Okay, now I have potassium nitrate there. Then I'm adding phosphate. 2.5 grams is enough for that. I am tearing with this tear button. Approximately to a little bit more. Okay, that's enough for that. Um, 2.5. That's enough, and then a little bit more. Okay, now I have macro elements in these cups, they are now fine. Then I am measuring these trace elements. This is that kind of brown powder. 
1.7 for this one point seven okay okay now I have this um, measurements done so the scheduling is that kind of that I am starting with macro then micro and then macro micro and macro like first day second day third day fourth day five fifth day and uh, mm -hmm. so how I am adding them uh, it's easy for me because I have this overflow I'm not now adding but like I just put it here and it will dissolve to water and uh, and then it is in my aquarium system but uh, if you don't have overflow you have to mix it to water first and then you have to mix it uh, properly to water so that it is not uh, getting for example this fish could try to eat fertilization or something like that but anyway that is how I do it. Then the second point, like this was the first point of uh, uh, aquarium fertilization. There are three points, like second one is lighting. And I will show you my lighting. I have three times 150 watt uh, um, what is this? metal halide like uh, HQI uh, lamp like these are these uh, multi-metal lamps whatever anyway I can put uh, some description in my like in description box so that you can check from there uh, okay lighting is important and I, I, I have something like eight hours per day lighting and then the third point third point is carbon dioxide like I have here carbon dioxide bottle here and I am uh, putting into my aquarium this carbon dioxide from this bottle uh, and uh, you can find from uh, internet uh, some uh, some in, like uh, how, how this is easiest to be done like there needs to be like this is this is the okay I don't know English names for this so but like anyway this is turning on and off this uh, from uh, electricity this uh, carbon dioxide input and there are these uh, uh, this is the pressure regulator and uh, yeah and this is my filter it is not related to this but anyway how I am doing the this dissolving of this um, uh, this um, this uh, carbon dioxide so the answer to this is this system here it's a little bit not very clearly seen okay I try to show you a little bit closer but anyway you see from there comes water then there is this uh, pipe there is this kind of um, filter media inside and water is coming downwards and then you see there is this kind of bottle like a half bottle or ho on top of the bottle which is uh, 
making this like it is connected to this uh, pipe or duct or whatever and uh, water is coming downwards there is some little holes here so that uh, carbon dioxide is going uh, get, getting into this uh, like this is this bottle is making sure that there is no waste of carbon dioxide and then there is this electrically uh, made this controlling like if the carbon dioxide if this duct gets full of carbon dioxide then this system here will turn off carbon dioxide input so this is making sure that there is no waste of carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is uh, turned on when the lighting gets on and turned off completely like something like four hours before lighting goes off and that seems to be enough but there is quite a lot of carbon dioxide used in this system I have to replace this six kilogram bottle of carbon dioxide maybe something like every four months or something like that or five months I don't know anyway but that's it okay thank you for watching and you can always subscribe if you want to see this kind of content in, in the future bye bye